The Bible is considered one of the most revered texts in all of history. Still, 2,000 years later, the message of salvation continues to impact the world we live in. Christ's life, death, and resurrection are chronicled in the New Testament Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But it's in the book of Acts where we see how the early Christian church would be forever changed as the gospel spread to other lands. And it seemed God would choose a very unlikely leader to head up the ministry, and a man known as Saul, who later became better known as the Apostle Paul. Paul's impact goes far beyond his own story. He became an encourager and influential leader in the development of early Christian churches. He forever placed his mark on the spread of the gospel message through his letters. One of the things that Paul really wanted to accent is that religion wasn't a matter of formalism. It wasn't a matter of just trying to appease the gods, but it was really having a relationship with the one true God, to know that God really cared about them and that they could know their God in a relationship as well. What was also important was that Paul's understanding of the gospel message, it was for the Jews, but it was also broader than that. The good news was good news for all, not just for the Jews. Nearly 2.2 billion people in the world today claim to be part of the Christian faith. That's nearly one third of the entire world's population. The gospel spread quickly following Christ's death and resurrection as churches sprung up around the region in what is now modern day Greece, Turkey, Italy, and the Middle East, the pathway for Paul's missionary journeys. Within a handful of years or so, Paul took the message that Jesus is Lord and spread it throughout the entire Mediterranean, crossing all kinds of barriers. The Apostle Paul will always be known for his amazing conversion story an ardent persecutor of the early Christian church who became a bold and passionate follower of Jesus Christ following his own conversion on the road to Damascus. Paul's ministry led him to a life of hardship. He faced persecution, was imprisoned, shipwrecked, and eventually killed for his faith. His teachings challenged the spiritual, cultural, and religious aspects of the early church. Today, we'll explore Paul's amazing journey and see how he was able to break down the barriers that stood between him and the people he hoped to reach with the gospel of Christ. I'm Yolo Lopez Perez. And I'm Seth Conley, your host for Breaking Down the Barriers, The Journeys of the Apostle Paul.